My name is Professor Mandy McLean. I'm Professor of Pharmacology at the University of Strathclyde. I'm currently the Scottish Regional Champion for the Academy of Medical Sciences. And mentoring early career researchers has always been a, a great passion of mine and it's a very important part, I feel, of, of my job and has been for the last maybe 30 years. It can be very rewarding, it can be very frustrating, it can be very challenging. But on the whole, it's something that I feel is, is a very um, important and valuable part of, of my work at the university. I've been mentoring, like I say, for over 30 years. I mentor members of my research group and I'm also an official mentor of the SUSTAIN um, scheme at the Academy of Medical Sciences. And I have a, a wonderful um, mentee um, who I've been keeping in touch with throughout this uh, more often throughout this uh, COVID period. Uh, ECRs, even before COVID, um, face a very challenging career. It's a very competitive career, it's a very uncertain career. However, the, the differences in uh, mentoring are very stark between pre-COVID and post-COVID. Um, we, we do hope that the funding bodies um, will um, adapt to a post-COVID era where they can focus and um, assess early career researchers' applications in the light of what's happened with COVID, but there's no getting away from the fact that funding, especially in charities, is going to be very um, reduced. And that means that the, the applications to research councils are also going to become more competitive. So what was a challenging career is now a very challenging career. And so mentoring has become even more important now um, uh, than ever. And I think uh, mentoring is a very important thing that we need to advertise actively now used to maybe be a more passive um, um, thing to do, but I think we have to become more proactive about mentoring our early career researchers. And that's because a lot of them don't want to come for help or, or somehow feel that they can manage through this on their own and that it's a sign of weakness if they don't say, oh, I, you know, I, I was on track for a fantastic career. Now I'm not so sure anymore. I'm not sure if I cut out for it. You know, I don't know if I'll get funding during COVID. They've maybe not been able to do their experiments. They've maybe not had the clinical samples or access to patients that they've been able to. They're behind in accruing preliminary data for their fellowship applications. And, you know, what is already a challenging career is, is possibly going to be too much for some of our early career researchers. And we really, really need to mitigate this in some way. And it starts with mentoring. Even I need mentoring to get through these um, times of uncertainty. So I would ask those early career researchers, if they're having any of these feelings of doubt, please reach out to somebody. If you have a mentor, they won't mind you reaching out to them. Please reach out to them. Don't struggle on alone saying that you've got too much to do and too many expectations on your back. There must be ways of mitigating these feelings and um, effects of, of COVID. I would very strongly recommend that as mentors we reach out to our early career researchers and as mentees pick up the phone or pick up zoom as we're doing we're all becoming zoombies aren't we so um get on zoom and and speak to somebody and share share with other early career researchers this is something that i think um the academy is trying to do is bring these people together so that they can see they're not alone and they can share experiences and support each other and i really think that is is so very important so that's my shout out to early career researchers get in touch with your mentors and to mentors get in touch with your mentees even if they've not approached you you can be sure that they're uncertain and they're facing some um, worries and challenges that would be really good to talk through